please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Wildcats? We made it through another week. Today is Friday, September 16th. I'm Ryan. We hope everyone is having a great week. Now let's get to your Wildcat wrap-up. Registration deadline for the October 22nd ACT is today. If you are eligible for free or reduced lunch and are a junior or senior, see your guidance counselor for a waiver. And that's all I have for you today. Now let's send it over to your Wildcat wrap-up crew. For this week wrap-up, first here's Josh with a new face spotlight. Take it away, Josh. Hey, what's going on, Wildcats? It's Josh here for your Friday wrap-up, and I'm here with Mr. Drast, your newest uh, member to the uh, science department at Struthers. How are you doing, Mr. Drast? Doing good, Josh. How about you? That's good. That's good. good. And so, um, just wanted to ask you a few questions about, you know, you're new to Struthers, right, this year. So, uh, is there anything particular that made you come to Struthers? I actually um, live right around the corner. I previously lived right around the corner. I've lived here for a couple years. Um, I love the community. I got married in the area, had my first child in the area. So, really, really love Struthers. I'm loving it so far. It's great to hear. We love it, too. And is there a, a how long have you been teaching, uh, specifically? So this is my second year teaching. Um, I taught at Cheney Middle School last year, so I came from a middle school setting. But I've been in uh, biology for uh, a while after I graduated college. So this is I'm familiar with biology, comfortable with it, but this is my second year teaching. First year high school. All right, that's nice. Is there, um, do you know exactly when you knew you wanted to be a teacher exactly? So when I was working in biology labs, uh, a lot of late nights, um, a lot of early mornings, didn't really get home when I wanted to get home. Um, so when I started a family, I always kind of knew I wanted to be a teacher and that kind of catapulted me into the profession. So I buckled down, uh, went back to school, got my teaching license and here I am. All right, it's great to hear. Well, I want to thank you, Mr. Dress, for talking to me for a little bit. Um, thank you much. And before we go, we just got to know, what's your favorite color? Blue. His favorite color is blue, folks. Well, I'm Josh. We're going to catch you here next week. See you later, Wildcats. Hello, Wildcats. Welcome to your weekly wrap-up. I'm Jessica. I'm Brianna Collier. And we have an interview. She is a marching band senior. And can you tell me how long you've been doing marching band? Uh, this year will mark my fourth year in marching band. Can you tell me why you like it? Um, I've always had a liking for music, either making it or listening to it and being able to perform and also show my talents to an audience. I like to do that. <laughs> That's nice. Now, can you tell me about your show this year? Um, this show's theme is John Williams. Well, movie themes composed by John Williams. So like the classic Superman, The Patriot, and also Jurassic Park. Hmm. That's nice. Well, there you have it, guys. Well, I'll see you here next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Welcome to your sports section of the Wildcat Wrap-Up. I'm Nevea. Now let's get started. The fall season is just about halfway through, and here are some of last week's highlights. On Tuesday the 6th, the girls' golf team had a match against Niles at Niles, losing in a close match, 253-236. to On Thursday the 8th, they played at Hubbard. On Monday the 12th, they played at Lakeview. On Tuesday the 13th, they took on Poland. And Wednesday the 14th, they competed in the NE8 tournament. Wow, it was a busy week for the girls golf. For the boys golf team, on Thursday the 8th, they played Lakeview at home. On Monday the 12th, they battled Poland at home and they honored their three seniors, Brendan Baber, Chazzy Koniak, and Chance Lasko. They did lose that match, 193 to 174. But on Wednesday the 14th, the boys golf team traveled to Skull Creek Golf Course to complete in the Northeast 8 Conference cha Championship. The team finished in second place just behind South Range. 
and Chazzy Koniak was the individual champion with a score of 75, a full eight strokes ahead of the nearest competitor. Great job, boys, and congrats to Chaz for bringing home the individual champion's crown. In girls tennis, on Tuesday the 6th, the team took on Austin Town at home and got the win. On the 7th, they played Niles at Niles and won 5 to nothing. On last Tuesday, Thursday, they, the 8th, they played Beaver Local at home and got another win, 5 nothing. Last Monday, they played Poland at Poland. They did lose that match, 3 to 2. Overall, they were 3 for 1 for the week. Great job, ladies. Keep it up. Let's talk girls soccer. The team was away at South Range and lost 1-4 in a hard-fought battle. This past Monday, they played Girard at home and got a great win 4-1. The cross-country team had a suburban league meet at McDonald and they had another suburban league meet at Poland this past Tuesday. And on Saturday, they compete in the Big Spartan in Invitational. Keep up the great work, runners. In volleyball on Tuesday the 6th, the girls played Jefferson at home and lost 0-3 in three close sets. On Thursday the 8th, they played Hubbard at home and lost 0-3 as well. On Monday, they played Lakeview away. They also lost 0-3. All of the matches were close and came down to the end of each set. On Saturday, they take on Ursuline here at the Fieldhouse. Good luck, girls. Now here's Jess to talk about some football. Thank you, Novea. Now, last Friday, the football team was away at South Range. They sadly lost 13 or 23 in a close, hard fought battle. Tonight, they might try to get back on the winning track as they travel to Hubbard to take on the Eagles. Let's show up and cheer on the team and support the cheerleaders and the marching band. Good luck, boys. That's all we have for your Wildcat wrap up this week. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you back here Monday. I'm Nevaeh. And I'm Jessica. Bye. Bye.